Hi, my name is Mel and together we're going to spend some time doing some activities and thinking about faithfulness. But first, let's start with some stretches to help us relax a little. Stand up with your feet hip width apart and we're going to do three shoulder rolls backwards. One, two, three and forwards. One, two, three. Imagine we've got a big ladder and we're going to climb up. Two, three, four, keep going. Six, seven, eight. Let's look to the left, middle, right, middle, look up, middle and down. Feet together, take a deep breath in and shake it out. Deep breath in through your nose and shake out. Last one, deep breath in. Now this time we're going to relax all the way down to the floor. Just reach your fingertips towards the floor, bend your knees, slowly roll up and we're ready to go. What does faithfulness mean? It means keeping your promises, being a good friend in the hard times as well as the easy times. It means standing up for your friend no matter what, being loyal to them, being a good friend. It means that people can rely on you. Let's think for a moment. I am a good and faithful friend to my sister-in-law, Anna. And she's a faithful friend to me because I could go two weeks without speaking to her or seeing her. And I know that she would always be at the end of a phone for a conversation, whether it would be to have a laugh about something or whether I'd be feeling a little bit sad about something and she would cheer me up. I know that no matter what, if I needed her, she would turn up outside my house with a box of chocolates and a film for us to watch. Who is a good friend to you? There is a Jewish proverb that says, who finds a faithful friend finds treasure. As a Christian, I believe that God is faithful. I believe that God will always be there for us, no matter what, he will never let us down. In the Bible, there is a verse that says, for the Lord is good, his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Maybe today, you can be a faithful friend to someone, maybe at school or at home. See what you can do. Now I've got some activities for you to do and they're going to come up on the screen in a moment. I will see you at the end of the video. Wonder. Sit and think about these questions. I wonder who is faithful to me. I wonder who I can be faithful to. Do. Think of ways you can be there for your friends. Write your friends' names down, then think of something you could do for each of them. You could help them with their homework, give them a call and spend time chatting, have an online gaming session, make them a friendship bracelet or card.
poem. Can you complete the rest of the poem with words that describe faithfulness? We've started it for you. F, forever. A, always. I, integral. T, trust. H, F. U, unchanging. L, N, E, S, S. Think. Shepherds are faithful to their sheep. They look after them, feed them, check on them. Can you think of other people who need to be faithful in their jobs? Maybe you might like to draw them on some paper.
reflect. God is a faithful and loyal friend. Think about times when God has been there for you. Matthew 28 verse 20 says, I am with you always. Make. Make a wristband to remind you that God is always faithful and always with you. First, cut a strip of paper about an inch wide. On the strip, write, I am with you always, Matthew 28 verse 20. Lastly, wrap the paper around your wrist and secure it with a piece of tape to make your wristband. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now we're going to do some deep breaths to help us feel calm. Make sure you're sitting comfortably or standing and close your eyes as we breathe in and out. Deep breath in and out. This time lift your arms up as we breathe in and drop everything out. Amazing. I hope you have a great day and see you next time. Goodbye.